let's take a look at another question related to sales tax. So in this question, Lake Louise Inc. operates in Alberta, where it is subject to GST of 5%. In August, Lake Louise Inc. purchased 29,400 of merchandise inventory before tax and had sales of 45,000 on account before tax. Lake Louise uses a periodic inventory system. Prepare the summary entry to record the purchase, the sales, and the subsequent entry to record the payment of a to the CRA. All right, let's just start with one thing at a time. So we know we've got GST of 5%. And here we can see that they purchased 29,000 of merchandise inventory before tax. And we've got this extra information that we've got a periodic inventory system. So let's start with that. So let's say debit, they purchased it. So they purchase inventory. So we know that because it's a periodic inventory system, we're going to put it to the purchases account as opposed to the inventory account. So we know we've got purchases of 29,400. And we know we're going to have a debit to GST here because when we purchase goods, when companies pay GST, that's an input tax credit for them so they can get it back. But when they receive GST from their customers, they have to give it to the CRA. So it's the, we settle net of those two amounts. So we're going to put this in a GST receivable account. And we don't know how much that's going to be. So we're going to take 29,400. And we're going to multiply it by our 5% GST to figure out how much GST we're going to have to pay on that amount. And we would have had to pay $1,470 in GST. So that's our GST receivable. And our accounts payable here is going to just be the total of those two things to balance our entry. So we're going to have $30,870. The next thing that happened is that we had sales here of $45,000 on our account. So sales. So we're going to have debit, that's receivable. It says it's on their account, so we're not getting cash for it. We're going to have credit sales revenue. And so the sales were 45,000. Remember, customers are going to owe us GST on top of the sales. So we need to figure out what that's going to be. So we're going to say 45,000 times 5%, which is going to give us 2,000. $250. So that is going to be our GST payable. Here, $2,250. And our AR is going to be the total because the total of those two things are both on their invoices, just like when you get a receipt from a store. So the total amount that they owe us between our sales and the GST that we have to collect is going to be $47,250. The very last piece of this entry that we're asked to do is to record the payment of any GST owing. And so what, what the question is looking for us to do here is to realize that we have a GST receivable and we have a GST payable in the question and that we're going to limit net. So we need to know the difference between 2250 minus 1470 is going to be $780. So that's going to be our net position. But because we set up these two accounts on our on our balance sheet, the gross amounts, we're going to need to clear them out. So we're going to go debit, GST payable, to remove that payable. We're going to go credit, GST receivable. And the difference is going to be settled in cash. So our GST payable was 2,250. Our GST receivable was 1,470. So we still owe, there's still a difference there in cash that we need to settle. So we're, we need to actually remit cash of $780. And the reason we, met, we remit cash is because the customers are giving us cash, even though they may be giving us AR, we assume that it's cash and we can adjust our tax return if we have uncollectible amounts. So essentially, we've got uh, that $780.